Hey everyone, this is Rob Spitzer coming to you out of uh, SciComm's Newport News office. When I started with SciComm around 15 years ago, I was one of the first remote employees. Uh, since I'm not located near any of our offices, I primarily worked from home during that time. I've done a couple of blog posts over the last couple of weeks uh, around things like file sharing and collaboration, um, but we thought today's tech tips could focus just on some more general workflow things I've learned uh, from working from home over the years. So here goes. Number one, keep a schedule. Uh, just like if I was in an office, I try to get up at the same time every day. I shower, I shave, I get dressed. I never work in my pajamas. Uh, treat the workday uh, from home just like it was any other workday. Uh, even try to approach things like lunch the same way. I'll get up, have a bite to eat, uh, don't try to eat at my desk, things like that. Um, same type of thing about the end of the day. I'll try to wrap up at a consistent time uh, every day as well. Now, you know, to be honest, there's flexibility that comes with working from home. And so I have done things like pick the kids up and uh, flex in the evenings, things like that. But for the most part, I do try to act like I'm in an office and keep a consistent schedule. Uh, speaking of offices, you need to have one. Um, now, when I say that, I don't mean you need to go out and build yourself a dedicated home office. Um, pretty much wherever my laptop and my phone are is my office. Uh, at a minimum, though, try to have a door. If there's a TV in the room, keep it turned off. Um, I have tried working from the couch in the family room. It does not work. Uh, I don't have anything fancy as far as my setup either. I don't have like quad monitors or a standing desk. It's just a comfortable chair a desk and my uh, uh, my phone. I'll try to put up on the screen here real quick what I've got. So I mean, this is pretty much it. Wherever my laptop lives is pretty much where I'm working from. Software matters. Um, I head up our Microsoft practice at SciComm, so I tend to live in the Office 365 world. Um, I'll use uh, things like Microsoft Teams for collaboration, audio and video calls, desktop sharing, things like that. I'm actually recording this uh, from, uh, from Teams right now. I do use a combination of things like OneDrive for personal files and then SharePoint for collaboration with others. Um, and, you know, as much as we like to concentrate on the fancy new tools, I do spend a lot of my day at Outlook. Um, so a lot of time on the calendar, a lot of time doing emails. Um, one of the major things that helps when you're working virtually is making sure your files are virtual. It's kind of hard for me to pick up a filing cabinet, take it with me um, when I leave, but if the files are digital and they live in the cloud, that becomes a whole lot simpler. Um, one of the, you know, if you're dealing with obviously digital copies already, it's really easy to copy those out to OneDrive and SharePoint, but if you're dealing with hard copy files, there's actually a scanning option right in the OneDrive app or basically you can take a picture of a, of a uh, document, it'll crop it and it'll save it off to PDF. It can be multiple pages, things like that. And then you've got a digital copy that you can mark up and do things like that. Um, yeah, I mentioned earlier, my office pretty much consists of just my laptop. Um, I do have one additional thing I tend to use and that's my iPad if I do need a secondary display. And so again, I'll have the OneDrive app running on there those PDFs and things like that I've saved, I can pull them up, I can use that to view what's, uh, you know, view the things I'm doing, et cetera. One last note, um, video conferencing is a whole lot easier if you can be seen and heard. Um, the built-in video cameras and mics and modern PCs are pretty good, um, but I do use uh, a couple things. Uh, one, I use an external speaker phone. Um, there are a number of these available, um, but the one I use is called a Jabra Speak 510. Um, I'll put it up on the screen here real quick. It looks basically like this. It looks like a little hockey puck, um, but you'll notice there's a, there's a mute button on the top. Makes it really handy to mute if there's background noise, things like that going on. Um, there's also the ability to do Bluetooth so I can connect it uh, with my um, with my phone and again I can just use it for everything. A lot more comfortable if you're spending you know eight hours of your day on calls than trying to wear something on your head. The other thing I've used um, while the I found the built-in camera on my laptop to be pretty good 
typically lighting is, is a big problem uh, when it comes to that. So um, one of the things I've used with that is this little ring light. So it's on right now. One of the problems I have is the way my office is laid out. You'll notice I've got this big, huge uh, light source right behind me. And so if I turn off this ring light, I end up looking like I'm in witness protection. So that becomes really, really handy for, uh, you know, keeping that from happening. So that's pretty much what I do um, in, in my work from home setup. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, uh, please let me know. Always interested in learning how others are, are working. And if you need any help uh, with your work at home setup, give us a shout. Hope you all stay safe.